Alright guys, welcome to Red Bull Ring for week two, season four, 2021 in the Ferrari Challenge in iRacing. So it's been absolutely chaotic this week. It's been a real struggle to record a race, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, the last race that I just did was actually one of the most chaotic races I think I've ever seen in iRacing. It was just a crash fest. But anyway, we're starting from six on the grid today, well for this race. And we're gonna just try and survive, I think, is gonna be the aim today. On the outside for turn one, so we'll probably get caught up in everybody else's mess. Go. Let's see what we can do. Alright, well, 15 minutes left. That's 15 minutes. Right side. Okay, we're alive. Still there. Got a car on my outside, on my right hand side I should Hold say. Hold your line. Hold your line. I'm thinking go around the outside Hold again. Hold your line. Right side. Hold your line. Clear right. What? Well, car contact? I got a 4X for something I didn't even feel. I don't know what that was all about. I didn't feel anything. Oh, well, we'll have a look at the replay after. Didn't deviate from a line at all, so I'm not sure what happened there. 1.6 second gap behind now, though. <laughs> Try to stay with these guys. shape there. I'm going to wind my brake bias back a little bit further now. The tyres are warmed up. a little bit here, not too far different in pace I don't think, but I feel like I could go a little faster. I just don't want to lose touch with the battle for second up ahead there. Slow exit, it's not going to help me. Just done it. 4.7 second gap behind now, so they've checked out, or well, we've checked out ahead. Oh, we're bunching up here, we've got a slow car. I'm just going to hang back, I think. This could be chaos. Oh, we're touching. It's funny how like the wider tracks seem to cause more quiet chaos. You'd think it'd be the other way around, but where there's an opportunity to go three wide, people just seem to go for it. The car behind oh. is catching. The gap's now 4.4 seconds. Big twitch. I don't know why 
car number eight is weaving all over the place like that though. That's really strange. Okay, well, there's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. A car coming out of the pits. That's just what we need. The lap time was 131.6. Good half a second off our pace at the moment. So I'm definitely Got 10 minutes held left. Up. 10 minutes to go. More contact up ahead. Second place. We're still in the battle for second here. Not giving up yet. being behind them for now, this stage in the race, rather than sandwich in the middle. Shape there. Hold your line. I saw him on me. I had to deviate to the Hold right as well. Hold your line. Still there. Still there. Clear left. All right, now we're going to try and catch up again. Unfortunately, the battle made us drop off the back a little bit. Right. All right, let's try and catch him again. Okay, well, don't be intimidated by this little shit. Well, at least they keep it relatively clean, it looks like. Three wide. There it goes, all three of them. You're halfway home, it's going as fine. Knew that was going to happen at some point. I said that at least they're keeping it clean. I knew as soon as I said that, I jinxed them. Let's go for second, huh? You're the man, stay on it. B3. I think Angus out front's probably very glad. <laughs> He's quicker than everybody else, staying away from the chaos. We are still under pressure from fourth though, so we'll have to be careful. Jeez. Left side. Clear left. Trying to push me wide there, I think. Problem is, it's bringing fourth place back into contention again. Six 
2 is 1.2 off the pace. Just don't want to throw away the third. Okay, mate, we really think you should pass this guy. Yeah, I know, Jim, I know. Don't want to throw away third position, though, being overly aggressive. He does have quite a bit of damage on the front left, I can see. On your right. Clear right. Five minutes to go. This is good. We'll be on the podium if we can keep it together. Just trying to force him into making a mistake. He's being so defensive. Defend the inside, he's offline though. Is he gonna swoop back across here? We've got a battle on our hands here again now. The guys behind are just as close. Get defensive, mate. Come on. Alright, well, stay close. Wait for him to make a mistake. I just don't want to do anything stupid and throw it away. Yellow flag. Oh, got hit from behind again. Well, Angus had an off, the leader. We may still have a sniff at a win here if we're lucky. Touching me again. Still there. All this car con I don't know why they hold your line. Bash into you down the straights. Still there. Still there. Hold your line. Clear left. P3. Alright, we're gonna catch up with him again now. Two minutes to go. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. All right. Hold your line. He's on my right. Still there. Hold your line. Oh. Stay right. Oh no! We got spun. Kidding me. You're absolutely kidding me. Oh, we were having such a good battle too. We'll have to have a look at the replay. I'm not sure what happened there. It was such a good battle up to that point too. It's just the way it's been going for me this week. But I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna call that one either way without looking at the replay. That could well have been my fault there. I was on the inside line. I felt like I was holding my line, but yeah, I'm not sure. I just don't know what all the bumping into each other down the straights is about. Like you got so much space and they just seem to want to push you across, I don't know. P13, last lap. So it's tempting to just let him go, but 
and get the fourth, but you just never know, do you? Anyway, still been a good race. We only had to hold off for one more lap. There could still be a big crash here. There's a big gaggle of cars in front of us. All together. They're like four wide into the second last corner. Oh, there they go. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. Are we gonna gain a spot? No, not quite. <laughs> oh man, that's the end of the race. What a we'll get him next time. Crazy race. At least it was entertaining though. <laughs> that's the main thing. Hope you guys enjoyed that. So let's uh, let's jump in. Let's have a look at the replay. I'm really not sure whether that incident there was my fault or not. I was on the inside line, and I feel like he kind of came back across, but I equally kind of drifted out. So maybe a racing incident, but let's have a look. Okay, so next day now, I had a bit of time to think about my potential mistake and reflect on it. It will be interesting to see what it looks like from the replay now. I usually like to leave it a little while just to sort of see how I'm feeling about it the next day. So decent run. On lap one, I was being very cautious here. I'd had a bad run of races and just trying to be nice and clean. So I was being a little bit conservative. Maybe you let my head get to me a little bit with that incident towards the end of the race, but we'll find out. But side by side run down into turn two on lap one. Leaving plenty of space here. Didn't want to defend too heavily on the inside and just as well I didn't. Oh, oh, that was so close. If I'd, if I'd defended that position harder. I would have been taken out for sure. This is why I always try to leave a little bit of space on lap one. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I mean, sometimes you just end up getting caught up in everybody else's mess in those first two turns anyway, because anything that happens on the inside makes its way to the outside. Okay, so last few corners of lap four. Now we're in P6 at the back of a pack battling for second. So I knew at this point that I had slightly better pace than at least a couple of these cars. I did feel like I was being held up. So this is where I started to sort of switch from being conservative to a little bit more aggressive. And you can see I'm slipstreaming here, just sort of trying to get a feel for where his weaknesses are. Thought about taking a dive down the inside, but ended up backing out of it. I wanted to try and set up a run for lap two here, which is what I did. I knew that he was going to expect me to take a dive and he'd probably compromise his exit there. So that allowed me to get a decent run. You can see here, I was able to run side by side. So I kept it nice and clean through there, no risk of an accident, but was still able to spook him into getting a bad exit, which is kind of what I was intending to do here. You can see broke nice and early, gave myself plenty of space on the inside to pull up and trying to focus again on the exit to make sure that he couldn't get a run on me. I knew that my exit would be a little compromised compared to his. So just trying to get the best run I possibly could down into turn three. So he's having a look on the inside here. I've decided I'm not going to defend aggressively again. I'm just going to break as late as I can and left a little bit more space than I probably should have there. Probably left the door open a little bit too much, but that's okay. And this was where the three cars ahead of me got into a little bit of a tangle. So you can see me coming through here. At this point, I had dropped off the back of them and I was just hoping that something would happen. I could see they were going at it. So I thought, just trying to take my time. They were keeping it pretty clean to this point, but... Three wide, almost. Yep, oh, a little bit of a tag there. And, oh, yeah, that is heavy. That's nasty. There I go through. So that placed us right in the thick of a battle for a second. You can see one car ahead of me there. He was a little bit quicker than I was. I was being able to sort of hang on to him for a little while, but I knew I didn't have the pace to sort of, you know, really take the challenge to him. So at this point, I was starting to become defensive against position four here. So I'm in position three. And you can see he did get a run on me along the outside here. Moved across, pinched him a little bit. There was a little tiny bit of contact there. Did, there was just enough room, but I mean, it was, it was tight racing. I'd say that was, you know, about the limit of how far, and you can see another little tap there as well, but we're just sort of, you know, panel to panel. I think that's all just sort of racing, tapping, and, you know, all pretty legit up to that point. Probably could have left him a little bit more room, but that's, um, you know, questionable either way. 
So again, just trying to focus on my exit here. I knew he was going to get a good run, but I knew he was also having to defend to car number four behind him as well. So this is where things started to get a little bit messy, I think. So run down into turn two or turn three rather. He's got a better exit than me. I just messed up my braking. He's on my outside here now. And this is where the accident happens. So I'm on the inside. I've got to run on him. Oh, oh no. Oh, I was lucky I didn't take out that other car there as well. So I don't know. What do you think, guys? Let's have another look at it. So let's go in slow motion here. So he's got the inside line on me here. There actually wasn't any contact there. I thought there was, but switching to the outside. And I think I probably just outbroke myself a little bit. I didn't compensate enough for the fact that I was offline. So I had the inside line on him. I did have a nose in front. Oh, I don't know. That's a tough one. And then I'm in a passenger slide. For, oh, so lucky I didn't take out car four. And then I'm just in a passenger slide and there's nothing I can do about it. One more look. So super slow motion here coming into the braking zone. There's the 100 meter board. Should be braking at about the 50. So where did he break his brake lights come on? Okay, so he did brake before me by a, probably about 10 meters. So I'm on the inside here. I am under control and I'm turning in. I am drifting out wide though. So I am understeering at this point. I'm in control, but I'm understeering. A little bit of a tap there. And then I've had to straighten out the car to kind of avoid it. And then he's just kind of turned in. There could be some net code there as well at that point. I probably, I mean, obviously he's not going to be inside me like that. So he, on his screen, he may have actually been behind me when he turned in a possibility as well. So look, I definitely, yeah, I definitely wouldn't say that that's his fault. It's more, it's definitely more my fault than it's his fault. I think it's safe to say that at least, but yeah, I don't know. So I am understeering, but I haven't missed the apex at this point. I was going to hit that apex there, late apex. So, oh, I don't know. I mean, he could have left more room on the outside. There was an overtake earlier where I left him more room than that, but I don't think that he had to leave me more room than that. So, I mean, it was avoidable from his part. He definitely could have avoided it if he'd left more room on the outside. But if I hadn't been so deep on the brakes and tucked in behind him, I would have got a third place instead of a, whatever I ended up, 14th or whatever. So... Yeah, I'd say that's a, that's a harsh lesson for me. Probably, you know, more on the fault of my side than his side for sure. But, you know, ultimately I was the one that paid the price. But let's have a look at the results of the race now and uh, see what kind of hit we took to our safety rating. All right, let's have a look at this. So we were split two, 1,900 strength of field. My uh, I rating at the moment is 1,722. As I said, we've had an absolutely shocking week this week. We were up around the 2,000 mark, but just been tanking we had a whole bunch of bad races you can see my license there has taken an absolute beating as well we we're up around a license not all that long ago and yeah it's dropped all the way down to c 1.59 so disaster gonna have to do some recovery driving over the next few days before next week i think but we ended up with plus 07 on our safety rating nonetheless minus 44 on our i rating so it wasn't as harsh as i thought it might be let's uh scroll down a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better here so andreas and maximiliano were what were their average paces so 130 and 131 obviously my average was a lot lower than that because we had 15 20 seconds off track but best lap time at 130.375 so we had no chance of ever catching andreas maximilano 130.2 as well so yeah super fast so these were the guys that we were really battling with 130.742 and 130.499 and my best lap was the 130.724. There were some other guys that did some pretty decent laps here as well. Angus King did a good lap. Uh, Mariano did a good lap. Roberto did a good lap. All these guys had some pretty quick laps. So we were actually pretty lucky with how we were placed. It's just a shame. I really should have just backed out of that move. I shouldn't have braked deep. And I should have just been content with uh, conceding that position rather than risking it and falling all the way down the order. But lesson learned, these are the things that happen. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed the video. Let me know what you feel about the format as well. We've tried to include all the bits of feedback that we had from the last race we did. So obviously including the replay, having a recap of the results and trying to work on the image stabilization a little bit as well, make it a little bit smoother for you guys. It does look a little bit less realistic than a helmet cam would really look like, but it makes it a lot easier to watch. So hopefully we've hit a good balance there. Let us know. We also tried to fix up our horizon a little bit for you guys too. We've, uh, as you would have seen in the previous video, uh, pretty much rebuilt the entire rig in the space of the last week since the previous iRace 
racing video. So let us know what you think. And yeah, look, we have had some better results uh, in this week's race, but I wanted to create a video from this race because I thought there was an important lesson there for me to learn and something to share with you guys too. And I think it's important to share the journey, not always just share the good results. It was an interesting and entertaining battle up until that point, but ultimately my own, uh, my own greediness and my own little mistake there ended up costing the race. And I really don't have anybody to blame but myself for that. So I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.